When Tesla released its groundbreaking Roadster, it was the first time an automobile company used a lithium-ion battery in a production electric vehicle. While the company has made many improvements to its battery in subsequent models, it wanted something more and embarked on the radical 4680 battery. Now that Tesla's insane new 4680 battery is finally here, what makes it beat the other batteries hands down? Join us as we explore Tesla's insane 4680 battery. The battery is one of the most crucial components in an electric vehicle. Without it, the car is not moving an inch. Apart from providing the energy to move the tires, the battery determines the price in the budget to mid-ranged priced electric vehicles. It also determines the car's weight, as it could be up to one-third of the curb weight. And more importantly, if the battery is not well made, it could be a potential fire risk and trigger massive recalls after buyers have started, as it put GM in an unenviable position with its Bolt EVs. Equally, the battery determines how far one can drive before needing to stop for a charge. With charging infrastructure still in its infancy in most places, the battery could make or break an electric vehicle. This is why Tesla pays so much attention to its batteries. It has some of the most extended ranges in cars in the industry. For example, the Model S Long Range has a range of 405 miles, as certified by the EPA. While having superchargers all over the place could help reduce or alleviate range anxiety, Tesla chose to tackle the battery itself and made astounding all-around improvements. And that was how the insane new 4680 battery was born. The automotive world went into a frenzy on Tesla's battery day in 2021 when Musk took the stage to take the wraps off the new 4680 battery. The list of improvements was as long as an arm. Part of Tesla's roadmap is sustaining a 40 to 50% growth year on year, which calls for rapidly rising supply of batteries. With the 4680 battery, Tesla has plugged any deficit in which its battery suppliers can bring and its increasing battery needs. This will allow Tesla to maintain its leading position in the electric automobile world. Interestingly, Tesla did not begin the design of the battery from the chemistry itself. Instead, in a reflection of Musk's obsession with first principle thinking, the team looked at the lowest common denominator, which in this case was the simplest truth anchoring the battery to the mineral it was composed of. After this had been defined and refined repeatedly, the team was able to build an optimized design. Tesla's journey to designing the 4680 battery included snapping up battery pioneers from Maxwell Technologies and High Bar Systems. Its experience in building its first battery plant in Nevada also helped because it acquired manufacturing equipment experts at Groman Automation. As the most vertically integrated auto company globally, Tesla's aim from the get-go was to eliminate inefficiencies and improve the sustainability of the process it would use to make the batteries. This motivation influenced many aspects of the battery. For example, the 4680 uses an architecture that eliminates tabs from the design, which is why the new battery is also called tabless. This single step has several significant impacts on the production of the battery. For one, the battery production line does not have to pause to add the tabs, which means manufacturing takes place faster. Eliminating the tab also removes a potential source of a manufacturing defect, as there's no need to weld any components together. So Tesla's plant will churn out the 4680 battery cells at a fast clip without worrying about a defect. Digging into the chemistry of the 4680 battery, Tesla also made some changes in the components, Tesla found a way to increase the amount of silicon in the battery by starting with the raw silicon, which cut the cost by 5% and increased the range by 20%. Tesla's project Roadrunner established a pilot line for the new battery at its Cato Road facility in Fremont, California, where it worked out the kinks in the production lines. Compared to other batteries, the cylindrical 4680 cell is a jumbo pack with a diameter of 46 millimeters and a height of 80 millimeters, which is where the name derived from. This larger jelly roll packs more active battery materials in the case. Tesla reckons this increase in active content alone results in a five times improvement in energy storage and six times increase in power. When the new cells are packed into an existing 2170 battery pack, it netted a 16% increase in range. Remember the tab Tesla eliminated? That step has another amazing effect as it makes it easier and faster for electrons to move from place to place inside the cell. Tesla's goals included boosting driving range by more than 50%, 16% of that due to the 4680's newfound punch while halving battery costs and bringing a $25,000 Tesla to showrooms. Tesla continues to dominate EV sales in America, but its seemingly insurmountable lead in driving range is under assault. 
The Arizona-built Lucid Air sedan, the work of Musk's formal Model S chief engineer, has demonstrated it can travel up to 517 miles, a lofty record for any EV. Tesla's best, the Model S Long Range, is EPA rated for 405 miles. Panasonic unveils its Tesla 4680 battery cell, production to start by 2022. Panasonic unveiled its new 4680 battery cell for Tesla, and it plans to, quote, start test production early next year. The automaker had to develop new manufacturing processes to make the battery cell, and it plans to deploy those at scale in its new battery factories being built near Berlin, Shanghai, and Austin. On top of that, Tesla is also partnering with current battery suppliers to deploy their own productions of the new 4680 cells. Panasonic, Tesla's oldest battery partner, has tentatively announced that it would be deploying a prototype production line for the new battery cell. Later, Panasonic's new CEO, Yuki Kasumi, said that it's prepared to make a larger investment in producing Tesla's new battery cell if test production proves successful. Tadanobu added that Panasonic is currently aiming to start test production of those new 4680 cells at a plant in Japan in March of 22. Panasonic has supplied batteries for Tesla cars for more than a decade, and the two companies jointly operate what Tesla calls the Gigafactory in Nevada. After years of losses, Panasonic has said the unit that supplies Tesla is now profitable. Once the exclusive supplier of batteries for Tesla, Panasonic lost that status when Mr. Musk added other suppliers, including China's contemporary Amperex technology company. Mr. Tadanobu said he wasn't worried about losing business, saying that Tesla was ready to buy everything Panasonic could make, and then some, because of the higher demand for EVs, adding that Tesla's expectation for shipments from our North American factories are extremely strong. After a recent expansion, Panasonic's annual North American battery capacity has risen to 38 to 39 gigawatt hours, up from 35 gigawatt hours in March of 2021, the company said. That would be enough to provide batteries for more than 400,000 Tesla Model S vehicles. Tesla recently confirmed it plans to deliver the first vehicles with its new 4680 battery cells next year. The automaker said that production at its own pilot production line in Fremont would supply early cells for those first vehicles, but it would quickly need partners like Panasonic and its own new production facilities in Berlin and Texas to support larger volumes. Other battery manufacturers like LG, Samsung, and Cattle have also all indicated that they aim to produce 4680 cells for Tesla. So when might the world actually drive Teslas powered by the 4680? The question takes on more urgency, considering Tesla's frustrating record of tardiness. In late April, Musk said the battery was 12 months away from production, if not 18 months. Existing suppliers, including Panasonic, Cattle, LG Energy Solution, and SK Innovation, may well deliver the 4680 before Tesla itself. After months of playing coy, Tesla finally confirmed in August that the Cybertruck's Tesla rollout would be pushed back to 2022 due to battery shortages. That massively scaled pickup is one power-hungry candidate for the 4680 cell, along with the also-delayed commercial semi. Cybertruck, unveiled to great fanfare in 2019, will now be beaten to market by this year's GMC Hummer pickup, the Rivian R1T, and perhaps even Ford's F-150 Lightning in 2022. Model Y SUVs from Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are also in line for the 4680, but at those factories' adjacent battery production lines. Tesla continues to hedge its bets, expanding existing contracts with Panasonic and other suppliers. Tesla's battery day targets, meanwhile, include a seemingly idealistic goal to ramp up battery production, including from supplier partners, to 3 terawatts by 2030. That's nearly a 100-fold jump from Tesla's current capacity in Nevada. It would be enough to supply 20 million annual Teslas or rival automakers who buy Tesla batteries, versus roughly 500,000 global Tesla sales in 2020. Yet that ambition is driven by a harsh reality. A global tsunami of EV demands threatened to outstrip battery supply, kneecapping EV production and adoption, and delaying a climate-critical switch from fossil fuels to electricity. Energy research company Wood McKinsey estimates that EVs will grow from 10 million on roads today to more than 100 million in 2030 and 400 million after 2040. EVs would hog 90% of the battery demand over the next two decades, 
Even at Wood McKinsey's conservative estimate, battery demand would be about eight times as much as today's factories can deliver. To Tesla, it's all about Marshall Plan level campaigns to build not only just battery factories, but factories that can turn out more batteries, more affordably, for its own global domination, and to achieve Musk's more altruistic goals. Now that you've watched the video, let us know what you think about Tesla's improved 4680 battery in the comment section below. Thanks!